You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. On February 27, 1975, magic returned to the world of man, and with it, the creatures of myth and legend, including the garbage gnomes. These are their stories. Yeah, that's right. You said garbage gnomes. What, you want to make something of it? Kids? Honey? Dad? Breakfast is ready. Coming, dear. Smells great. Oh, thanks. Any meal is easy with a scrounger like you. We're having those scramblers you brought home yesterday. (laughs) You call that scrounging, do you? More like picking up, if you ask me. Why, back in the every when, we actually had to look for stuff. Yes, Gramps, we know. We have it easy here in this world. Kids, come on now. Breakfast is on the table. No, no, you don't know. You gnomes have your constant sources of litters here and now. It wasn't that easy when I was young. Why, these modern humans throw everything away. Everything. Is Gramps on another tirade again? Why, you ungrateful little cuss. You know, back in my day... Back in your day, things were made of wood and old. Now, kids, remember, you have to respect your elders. Grampus had a hard life. Remember, he was already 268 when the awakening occurred. And you call those hats? Well, crazy colors and no points. What kind of gnome would wear a hat like that? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh hat, Grandad. Everyone has one. Yeah. Things aren't like they were when you were younger. You kids don't know how good you've got it. Yeah, we do. Shh. Why, back then we had to run around under tables and hide constantly so the humans wouldn't see us. And if they did, they might even step on you. Really? You darn tootin'. All we could get were the scraps. <laughs> Me and Mumbly Joe stuck into a German manor house one time. <laughs> I remember that party. <laughs> the wine flowed like a river and the crumbs from the meat pies. Oh, they were so good. Good. Oh, those wonderful, wasteful nobles. Almost as good as the humans nowadays. Why, we barely made it back to the door of the everyone before that cat got us. Poor Peanut never did make it back. Oh, that Peanut. (laughs) He used to slip in Ireland all the time and pop out in front of a lad on the way home from the pub on a dark road. (laughs) Dad, yes, dear. (laughs) Can we put Gramps in the home already? Now, kids, Gramps worked hard (laughs) to get us here. Oh, that Peanut. Huh? What? What are you whippersnappers talking about? A home? A home? Why, I'm barely 300. Now, Dad, no one's trying to belittle your accomplishments. We all know what a terrible time it was before 75. I was there. You can't go around expecting the kids to understand, though. This is all they've ever known, and I prefer it that way. Yeah. Don't go pushing your imperialistic dogma on us. Do you even know what those words mean? You can speak those fancy man words, but hey, when's the last time you spoke to a wild boar or a deer? Yeah, yeah, you city kids, always trying to talk to pigeons and rats. Vermin. Even the dogs barely remember animal talk anymore. And the cats, they just see us as playthings or food. I used to soar on the backs of owls and run with wolves. Now those are animals. Those were animals you could talk to. Your animals are either endangered or lame. Cats are cool now. And roaches. Roaches? Huh. Roaches. Hey, whatever happened to crickets? We used to have guard crickets. All a roach is good for is eating your food stores. Uh, we need to get these kids back to the country. Why did I ever let you talk me into these suburbs? It's all plastic, fake. You don't complain about the tobacco and booze we find you, you old yeah, fart. Yeah, turn to a tree already. Kids! That's no way to talk they, to your what, grandfather. What you <laughs> anyway, tree and off to school with you both. You're going to be late. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye Dad. Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, dirty little bandit. But, but, why I, why I oughta... Don't make me call you in front of the council, boy. <sighs> I'm sorry, Gramps. We'll get him into the union soon. He'll settle down. There's there's no need to get the council involved. Uh, we'll see. Maybe a trip. Uh, camping, they call it out here. Uh, let him know what a gnome is supposed to be. Uh, let me help you with those dishes, honey. I have a few minutes before I head out. <sighs> Thanks, dear. Thanks so much for taking up for Dad in there. Children can be so cruel. Uh, don't mention it. 
And I have thought about throwing the old Kootenai home, though. He smells like tobacco spit. Hey, he is my father. We owe him more than that. Okay, it won't be the home where they beat people. Maybe just get him involved at the senior center down at the Union Hall. You ain't getting me near those crazy nut-eating bastards. Oh, you'll love it, Gramps. Get tobacco there, too. I'll take him down with me today. Okay. Hope you find something to keep himself busy. Tune in next time for another look at the world of gnomes. In our world. Well, a world like ours with gnomes. Gnomes was performed by, in order of appearance, Joe Mathis, Kevin Heyman, J.T. Shea, Scott Galton, and Ailis Shea. Gnomes was written by J.T. Shea and Kevin Heyman, and produced and directed by J.T. Shea. Gnomes is based on and set in the world of Earn Apprentice, a web-based graphic novel created by Kevin Heyman. Earn Apprentice can be found on Drunk Duck at drunkduck.com slash earnapprentice, and on Sweatshop Studios at nightgig.com slash sweatshop. Ending music is performed by the Brobdenagian Bards, who can be found on the Podsafe Music Network and at thebards.net. This has been a Night Gig Studios production. Nightgig.com. It's about what you live to do. This is JT Shea asking, what's your gig? So, do you have children, or are you just a child at heart? In which case, Saturday Story Circle might be a good place to kickstart your weekend. Because we have the very best of family-friendly audio, which is all rated G for great. Join us on the main Mutual Audio Network feed, or you can find us at the Saturday Story Circle wherever you get your podcasts. The Mutual Audio Network, where we listen and imagine together.